What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create neon text in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, I'd like to say this was a requested tutorial. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So I have Photoshop open and of course I have a brick wall because that seems to be the common thing to do and put neon text on. Now the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to our adjustment tabs which is right here and we're going to select levels. This is what we're going to get and all we're going to do where it says output levels, the box on the right, you're going to put something between 55 to 65. For me, I'm going to stay in the middle and put 60 just so it darkens it down. And this can be changed whenever you want to. The next thing we're going to do is create a new layer. And now we're going to come to the type tool and we can just type out some text. I'm just going to drag out the box and I'll just put this. Now as you can see there is quite a big gap between the text so I'm going to highlight all of it, come over to my character panel and I'm just going to bring them closer together like so. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and position this in the middle like that. Now we need to highlight our text again and change the colour to white and then select the check up here. Next thing we need to do is actually rasterize this layer type so we're going to right click and select rasterize type. Now we're going to need to head over to the move tool. If you want to rotate or something, press control T on your keyboard. As you can see, you'll get these so you can rotate it however you want to. You can also resize it from here as well. For me, I'm just going to go a bit like that and have it like that and select enter on my keyboard. From there, we need to head over to our layer, hold control and click the thumbnail of our text. As you'll see, we're going to get a selection. From there, come to select and save selection. You can call this whatever you want to, I'm just going to call it text since it is the text and select OK. From here, come to select, modify and contract. Now this one you can play around with the amount because every font will be different. I'm just going to put 5 pixels for this and select OK. As you can see, this is what we're going to get. Now I'm going to press delete on my keyboard and then press Ctrl D to get rid of that selection. Now I'm going to come over to the text and double click the thumbnail to bring up the layer style. We're going to come to a color overlay and now we're going to select the color. Now this is where you select the color you want to and we're going to select a medium shade of that color. So for me I'm going to go with a green neon here and a medium shade is probably there and I'm going to select OK. Now I'm going to come to outer glow and I'm going to choose the color again and we're going to go to a similar color but this time an even darker shade like this and I'm going to select OK. The blend mode is going to be set to normal. We're going to have the opacity at 75% and then the size over here is going to be at 10. The next thing we're going to do is head over to drop shadow. We're going to change a blend mode to multiply. The opacity is going to be 100%. The distance is where you could play around. I recommend anywhere between 5 and 10. So I'm going to go with 5. And then for the size, I recommend anywhere from 7 to 12. So I'm going to go with 7. I'm going to select OK. And now we need to duplicate our text. We're going to do this by pressing Ctrl J on our keyboard. Now we're going to double click the outer glow from the effects tab. And this is what we're going to get. We're going to change the blend mode to color dodge. And the opacity here is going to be 100%. This time we're going to use a medium shade of the color. So close to what we used the first time and I'm going to select OK. The size this time is also going to be 100% and now we're going to uncheck drop shadow and select OK. Now we need to create a new layer by pressing this button here. We're going to hold control and select our text thumbnail right here so we get the selection again. Now from here we're going to head over to select, modify and contract. Now this one's going to be very little contraction so it's not going to be up to 5, I recommend 1 or 2. So I'm going to go with 1 and select OK. We're going to press Ctrl D. Now from here we're going to change a blend mode to overlay. Now we're going to come where we created the adjustment layer which is right here where the levels were and we're going to create a new layer just above it. So the next thing we want to do is select this layer we have just created, come to channels, hold Ctrl and select the text and then head back to the layers. And now from here, we need to refine the edge. For people who are not on Photoshop CC, this is much easier for you. You're just going to come to select and select refine edges. As you'll see, I don't have it because I'm on Photoshop CC. So what we're going to do is select select and mask. As you'll see, here is refine edges. And what we're going to do is change the feather to 50. And we're going to change a shift edge to 70%. 
from there we can just select OK. We're going to press Ctrl Delete and then we're going to press Ctrl D to get rid of the selection. We're going to change the blend mode over here to overlay. Then we're going to double click the thumbnail of this glow we have just created. We're going to head over to color overlay and now we need to pick a darker shade of the color we have just picked or the original color we picked. So I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to select OK. We're going to change the blend mode to color and then we're also going to change the opacity here to 70%. From here you can select OK. Now from here we're going to create a new layer and we're going to do the exact same steps again we just did on the previous layer. So we're going to come to channels, we're going to hold control and select the text, head back to the layers, come to select, select and mask and this time where it says feather we're going to change it to 50 and the shift edge is going to be 40. And now you can select OK, select Control Delete and then Control D to get rid of the selection once again and we're going to change a blend mode to overlay. Now if you come down where it says effects on the previous layer we just created, hold alt and drag this to the new layer we just created. So it pastes on top like that. And just like that you've created neon text in Photoshop. That's it for this video, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.